God isn't beating you up. He's lifting you up. Did you do everything perfect? No, because no one's perfect. Did you cross all your T's, dot all your I's? Probably not. None of us is perfect. But he says you were faithful. And he, you, were, you're, you were obedient. You put in the work. A lot of people don't put in the work. They just think that God's a genie and they want everything to fall out of the sky and they don't want to put in the work. But you've been faithful to this word. You've been faithful. Some of you have been faithful to this channel. And God sees your faithfulness in everything you do. Some got stuck. Some stay behind. Some complain. Some murmur. Some looked at the giants in the land and said, I could never get over that. But no, not you. You asked the Lord, shall I pursue? And you went after it. And God says it's time for the rewards for your obedience. And sometimes when these rewards show up, and these promotions show up and these marriages and these husbands and these things and these financial blessings and your children come home, whatever it is that you're believing for. Sometimes you can feel unworthy because you've been on the other side of that thing for so long. But God is saying, I know you weren't perfect and I get that, but you're still my child and I love you and I'm going to bless you anyway. And everyone's going to say, how can you bless him? He's the prodigal. Like the prodigal's brother said, how can you bless him? How can you give him the fatty calf? We read that together the other day, but God says, hey, this is my child and I love him. So God is going to bless you. God is going to bless you for your obedience. So he's not beating you down. He's lifting you up. The Lord loves you. He's your father. He sent his only begotten son to die on that cross for you. Remember who you are in this season. I'll see you on the live this evening. God bless. Make sure you subscribe.